the games have started today so i'm gonna do this video will be mostly on the only one wnba game left for the evening and the rest of the mlb games so let's start with the discount that price picks has today i don't know if by the time this video comes out if this this guy was will still be here, but take over if you can. I think it's twenty-five dollars max entry you can put, so you can separate it into five slips or put it into one. Uh, but yeah, take the discount. It's down from twenty-five point five to twenty-two point five. Take it over. So for WNBA, we only got the one game since most of the games have already started. So I have one for points, and I'm gonna go with Dorka Juhas. At 7.5, she is going against Phoenix. She is trending up. And I see her minutes increasing. So I have her going over. All we need is 8 points to cover that. And my next two will be in Fantasy. And it's going to be for Lafricia Collier. She had a monster game at 66.1. So I definitely have her going. She's going to regress. She's probably going to have somewhere in the 50 range or 48. But she's still going to cover. Average is 49.5. Easily taking her over. You can also look at her points props, but I like her fantasy better. And my third one is Michaela on on your wear at 20.5, trending up as well. She's getting more minutes. She had one stinker against New York, but she's been trending up ever since. So I have her going over, going against Minnesota, and these are the only three I like uh, for WNBA. So. For MOB, a lot of these games are about to start. A lot of 1 p.m. games for Saturday. So I want to go to the evening slate of games. And my first one will be Reen Nelson from the Diamondbacks going over four strikeouts. He's, he's been trending up. Uh, worst case scenario, he pushes, but he should easily get four strikeouts in this game. Going against the Angels, have him going over. And then my next. I have one for pitcher fantasy and I have one for strikeouts, which I already did. Well, it almost hits a lot. I'm sorry about that. And it's going to be with Tyler Glass now going against the Mariners. I have him at four. They rocked uh, Shane McClanahan yesterday pretty good. So I don't think they're going to do the same as damage as Glass now as he's the ace. I have him. Mariners should get about five or six hits. He's probably going to have double digit strikeouts again. So you can look into a strikeout prop as well. But I like his hits allowed. I have him going over. And my last one is on pitcher fantasy score. And I have a bounce back candidate with Marcus Stroman. 28.5. He pitches deep into the game. He is going against the Guardians or a good contact team. So his strikeouts might be low. But I think he's still going to do a quality start. And he did have a stinker against the Cardinals. But as you can see, he usually averages between 35. So I have him going over. Not sure if he's going to get the win against the Guardians, but I'm pretty sure he's going to have a quality star and he should pitch deep into the game. So I have him going over. So I got these six. Uh, you can take one out if you can, or you can take the substitute with the discount that Price Pitch has. Uh, but these are the six that I like with Dorka over points, Aficia Collier over fantasy, Michaela over fantasy. Reed Nelson over pitcher strikeouts, Glass now over hits allowed, and Marcus Stroman over pitcher fantasy score. So hopefully we hit. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll have a video out for KBO as yesterday we crushed. We two extra money, so we doubled it. So hopefully we hit again. I'll see you guys in the next one.